Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taster of whiskey.com. This is my son Ben, the master taster. And today we have a Kubocken here in our cast, the creation number three. And you choose those whiskeys, so tell us something about that. Yes, uh, they are the in the experimental, or no, the creation series. So they do a little bit of experimenting and they do a little bit of a more of uh, interesting casks and they mix interesting casks. And they are limited, aren't and they? And they are limited, mm -hmm. yes. Um, and this is very interesting because uh, now we have um, Cabernet Sauvignon, a French wine, and a red wine uh, mixed with an ex-rye cask from North America. So uh, you don't get these combinations anywhere else out <laughs> on the market. So and this together with a lightly smoky whiskey. So this tends to be a very complex whiskey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had a little chat about Kuborken, what Kuborken means and Tomatin in the last video, the, the creation number four. And yeah, so this is basically the same. Today we are talking about uh, yeah, a little bit of a different maturation. Yeah, to uh, tell a little bit about the casks, as you said, Cabernet Sauvignon is a French, uh, typically a, a red wine from France, uh, but this one was grown in Morocco. So there is mm -hmm. an alcohol industry in Morocco. Yeah, very good. Um, and the character is rose water, strawberry and black fig. And the North American rye, uh, very often people say rye whiskey, and that's not true. The original word is rye and includes the whiskey. So mm -hmm. you don't say rye whiskey, you just say rye. Mm. Uh, I think it's uh, both uh, limited by the ATF in America. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what's that uh, Madonna in their remake of the old uh, uh, song, Bye-bye? Uh, Miss American, American Pie. Pie. We are drinking old, whiskey and rye. Old people drinking whiskey <laughs> and rye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, so that, yeah, in America, I think if you if you order in America, you order a whiskey, you usually get something like a bourbon or scotch, mm -hmm. and if you order, uh, but that does not include rye. Rye yeah. is just so different to mm -hmm. what we know from other whiskey. And here they say exotic spice, citrus, and tropical fruits. So for this exotic spice uh, wording here on the, we said we taste the number three behind the number four because we think we will have uh, some exotic spiciness in this whiskey. It's uncolored, until Ooh. filtered, 46%, priced uh, around 60. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's... And the bottle is really... Uh, they changed. Strange. They had a quite a clear bottle with the same diameter and height, but now they changed to this... Uh, oh, it's a bit of an artsy... <laughs> leaves like leaves or mm -hmm. from the from the grains yeah fruity again like the number four had been and smokiness on top of that so the the color i think it's very very intense more intense uh, than the number four had So the smoke is not that present in this one, no. More the fruitiness, the rose water, definitely like in marzipan you find this rose water. Dark figs, yes. Exotic spices, well, yeah. And a little bit of citrus in the back, probably from the distillery character. So it's a more complex nose than the other had, I think. So the number three is, for me, in the nose more complex than the number four. Mm -hmm. It does have much more nuanced uh, and much more nuanced style. For me, it's yeah, it's darker. It has more, uh, what you call it, more spices in it more baking spices i would say or exotic spices they, they said exotic spices yeah so yeah exotic spices hits it pretty well the the cabernet sauvignon part is more of a yeah what, what is the roses and what is these velvety uh flowers i don't know 
Violets, violence, violets. I think that's the word. Mm. I do not have this <laughs> French war perfume. No. <laughs> yeah. This is these violet. <laughs> no, I do not have that. So there's more a smoky overtone on this. Yeah. And uh, yeah, of course, uh, I missed out to say definitely smoky overtone. Mm. Yeah. So nice. cheers. Cheers. Definitely more spice than the the number four had. Here you have the the rye, the oaky, mm -hmm. prickling rye on the tongue, very intense, and the smoke just gives a cladding inside your mouth, mm -hmm. and the figs, dried figs, sweet figs, uh, they just mix in, and in the aftertaste there is a a little oaky note and more of the citrus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. The nose was pretty nuanced. The 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 flavor is very very spicy. Mm. Now that I've swallowed it, it comes comes more and more to life. But when I had it in my mouth, it was just a deep oaky rye whiskey spiciness with some bittersweet notes to it, cacao, really dark, really hefty. And now you have a little bit of a, a little bit of a citrus note, a little bit of a, a little bit of a fruity note, but still the, the spiciness and the oakiness that is, is for me, that's, and the smokiness is the, the dominant part here. And what do you think? Better than the number four? Totally different. The other one was just so vibrant and, uh, and fruity and uh, open. This one is more of a strong old man's drink, I would mm. say. Yeah, they're different. I wouldn't say one is better than the other. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Currently, I would say number four. It's just that in my, I'm more in the mood for a, such an open drink, but this could be a you becoming uh, older? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, usually, if, you, if you're younger, you like the, the sweet stuff, and then you go into the, the yeah. hard stuff. <laughs> I, I find this one is a little bit more uh, suited for me because it does not have this uh, French limousine casks, which I do not like that much. Oh, really? Mm, so. Okay. So, but uh, I think it's cool. It, it, they both rock. Um, yeah. So, this is a, a 56, 60 ish bottle limited edition so if you see it it might not be very long on the shelf one of these very spicy scotch whiskies you don't see them that often you do have some distilleries that focus Still on present, that yeah. but they're not that numerous and it's long it's long going on mm -hmm. so yeah that was it with our review for the Kubokin creation number three yeah thank you very much for watching and see you next time